Okay, so this will be a final finished sketchbook that I've ever done. So I'm just going to give you a sketchbook tour on what is in this sketchbook. This is a Jane uh, Devonport sketchbook. I got it from Michaels. I believe they're, if I can remember, they're $19 or $20 for this. So I got this and I started it in 2000, uh, March 2017 of, this, of last year and I just finished it this year. So it's from 17 to 18. So in the sketchbook, there will be a little bit of nudity. It's art, it's not a big deal to me. If you have a problem with it, you can click away. But just to warn you guys. So this is the front and this is the back. So opening this, it's her name, De um, Jane Devonport. I didn't do anything on the first page. Okay, the first first page is the one I started, which March 19, 2017. I wanted to test out, I actually got her watercolor tin case as well when I purchased this and I never ever experimented with watercolor so this is my actually my first attempt experimenting with watercolor. It got kind of rough right here. I overworked the paper. The paper is not bad at all. It's pretty thick, it, like it has enough to absorb but me barely learning I really warped the paper and made it shred right here um, I did use a fine line micro tip like pencil like one of these and I got um, like a gold reflectant metallic paint that I want to try and I like the way it came out it won't be in order I don't go page by page I went randomly through this sketchbook doing wherever I wanted so this one on this side I called the Moonwalker. It's done on October 19, 2017. So it, it jumped from the March all the way to October. And basically this is it. I used a fine tip as well with white acrylic paint. I want, Like I said, I wanted to experiment with different mediums. I used a metallic border, used washi tape just to get these clean outlines. This side is a very special painting to me um, I wanted to experiment with like flowers that weren't detailed um, <laughs> this I'm not gonna get into too much it's very sensitive to me it I love the, the position I had her missing one arm I have her nude she is pregnant um, and I again I use that gold flaking um, let's just move on. Uh, this is another painting. Some of these don't have dates, unfortunately. But I know it was around March when I did this one. This is just, I looked up a lot of yoga poses and I like the way they're very flexible and I interpreted it as being just like a tree. Some of these just come from my mind. Some of them come as references. Just depends. This is a reference. This is a reference to myself floating on a wooden heart uh, raft with bows. I never finished it. I like it unfinished, so I just left it like that. Next one is a moon crying, but no face. And it's just blacked out with acrylic paint. This is watercolor and a white gel pen. This one is another experiment of the roses being very like abstract and quick just for you know it's roses well I know it's roses and I use again the black felt small felt tip she is nude and I didn't name this one but I never wrote it it's called lovesick she's very thin and um, frail and you know and she's holding balloons this again is watercolors all watercolors and like I said the same thing with the fill the fine tip this painting is I didn't like it but I continued to do it I stood strong and I finished it even though it did not come out the way I wanted it to her face is unproportionate and it wasn't what I wanted so it's just uh, I wrote you're not listening and it's a what are those 
like I, you need, I don't know if you did this when you were a kid. Like you got a cup and you put a string on it, and it's you could talk through it. So I just have it get cut off and somebody holding it, cut like cutting it off. So you, it's her screaming and it's basically saying you're not listening. Again, no date. It's just a girl who has her world upside down. It's just a house, some roses, some trees. Her hair's going up, and this is again a gel. A gel a jelly white pen I really like the way this came out this like random style I like the way that came out next is done in October 1st 2017 I did this with watercolor and this was at a beach but I can remember it was a I went to the beach because my boyfriend had a car sh mini truck show and I ended up just sitting on the beach and I saw these two boats and I thought they were really cool. I was painting from life. And I do remember this water. I had one of those water pens, water, it was like a water brush. And I had water from the sea and it had some salt, you know, some sand in it and it made these weird little, there is actually, you could feel the sand or salt in there. So it was it kind of changed the consistency of the painting, but I like the way it came out. I can remember that. It's um, I just swatched the colors I used. Um, I wanted to contrast with this one the set, the sunset with the blue ocean. It's just a girl hanging from some strings, um, holding a yellow hat with some roses in the water. Ever finished it? This is using the uh, acrylic paints, but it had like a very thick consistency. I can't remember the paint name that I used. But it was super thick and it was getting tough for me to blend on this paper. It wasn't, it was drying down really weird and it didn't give me enough time to uh, blend, merge the colors together. So I ended up just giving up on this paper, on this piece right here. This is just the sketch for it and these are the swatches. Um, maybe one day I'll get back to it. I don't know. So this one right here, I have a video on. It's just a study of my hand using acrylics. Um, this is a artist I really like. She's um, she does a lot of these uh, sewing sewing on like some kind of fabric. Um, so this is not my art again. This is uh, another artist's work. I just really like this piece that she does. Um, I will link or have a little pop-up here with um, her Instagram name so that way you can check her out if you want to learn a little bit more about her on this side I never ended up finishing it was, and then this one was at a lounge bar I went to with my boyfriend it, it, I just took a picture of our glasses that we had were drinking out of and I went home the next day and I ended up painting the glasses with the lemons in it and it was really i really like the way this one came. and then that same night i believe we ended up going to a hookah lounge and they had these like lanterns from above and i thought it was super beautiful the whole room was red so that's why i ended up um painting it with like a fade this is basically the cup the coaster i like taking these whenever i go to a place so i can have a just something to stick in. I like the different varies. Like I just glue them in. Okay, the next one is a birthday cake. It was my boyfriend's stepmom's birthday, and we ended up getting this cake at Vaughn's. I took a picture of it and painted it a couple of days later. Next one is a little um, idea I had. I wanted a tattoo at the time, and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. This was a uh, just a little sketch. I ended up putting like, I wanted the tattoos to be on my finger, this side being the moon and this side being the sun, but I ended up, when I went to the tattoo shop, they were telling me that finger tattoos really don't stick, especially with colors because I wanted to be blue fading to like a sunset color and they were explaining to me that it fades, color doesn't stick and all sorts of things. So it didn't end up working out. So this one right here, I really like the movie. Nightmare Before Christmas and um, if you know that movie you know that he walks into the trees and the style of the movie has very like intricate like lines and 
black and white until he goes into the the tree that is for christmas and obviously turns into colors so i was trying to use that style it's um but i ended up changing it i ended up wanting to do the disney princesses themes mixed with the jack skeleton style and here i used a silver jelly and i it's like super reflective and i like it when i against the black contrast um this is supposed to be frozen snow white sleeping beauty and the little mermaid i did these because i did these at my old job it's just ideas i had at the time and i did i didn't do them in my sketchbook so it was just I just drew my hand holding a pen and a sketch of a woman letting go of uh, a balloon with it, it has more meaning to it the next page is a picture from Pinterest if I can remember um, I don't know if you can actually see the detail but again this is a photo from Pinterest and I just use them to practice to blend colors um, I used a white jelly pen and it's basically just a dock and it's very blue and I like it <laughs> and I did this in October 15 2017 oh I skipped a page sorry this is again another tattoo idea I wanted I did this on 4 23 2017 the whole idea behind this was i am an aries and our sign is a uh, ram and i really like the kind of flowers uh peonies so i wanted peonies to wrap around my wrist and moons and some stars and i wanted it to be like a line work so i was really looking for an artist that does um line work in like semi detail <laughs> this is from a movie from netflix I can't remember what movie it's from, but it was a really cool scene where the girl went to this really dark tunnel and I ended up just quickly just sketching it real quick. Just a baby with veins and my fingerprints, just making a heart. Um, I'm not really going to get really into these. Um, my sketchbooks are personal. You know, some of the sketchbooks, the, the drawings and paintings I can talk about with ease, but some of these i will get super sensitive and i'm sorry if it bugs you that i'm not getting too detailed maybe on later i will share what these mean to me a little bit more but for now we'll just move on this is a watercolor page i was experimenting more with watercolors this is just my salt and pepper grinder I ended up ta taping washi tape randomly and I, uh, some, most of these most of these are from Pinterest uh, I just found varying colors and styles I like this is the city um, a little road with autumn like fall trees a plane in the sky and a air balloon um, these I did October 11th, October 15th, October 11th, October 15th. This is where my tattoo actually came out. The idea started with a moon. I really like the moon. The I don't know if you ever heard that um, myth um, story of the moon and the sun. That the moon is super in love with the sun and they're madly in love. But um, the moon cries because he can't see the sun. And um, only once in a couple of years they cross paths. It's considered the eclipse. That's when they get to meet and see each other. But other than that, he's always chasing the sun. Obviously on the opposite side and rotating. You know, and it makes him sad. So that's where the, the, my inspiration came out of the crying moon. Um, I sketched this. Well, I sketched this tiny one. And I ended up wanting to do a uh, peony flowers with a tri like a diamond shape with the moon crying and a some kind of band around my wrist so I went ended up going to her shop and this was another sketch that I did of my tattoo I wanted her line work and her she's very like talented at like her line work her dottings she has a specific style I really enjoy the shop name is right here so i ended up um keeping the receipt her name is annie 
the shop is called Experience Inc. I love, 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 love my tattoo. This is the way it came out. So this is the original. I wonder if I could show you the right way. So this is the way it came out. Beautiful. Her dotting, I love. Her detail on the peony. She does these little, let's see if it focus. Okay, now you can see. She does these little dots. She added these in. Beautiful. I ended up being, um, she did her a, a sketch for me, but we ended up going with my original um, peony. I sketched out another one other than this one because I cut it out. Um, I sketched this one out and I asked her if she can please um, copy my art. So this is specifically my peony with just her style of the dottings. Let's see. I can't remember the beach name, but it was this very vintage car that I really liked and it was facing the Let's see. Next page is my interpretation of the Grim Reaper. Again, no date. I'm sorry. This is a consultation for a person that wanted like a day of the dead with the moon in the background. Uh, this one right here, I did October 9th, 2017. I did a lot in October. This portrait right here is specifically from Pinterest as well. I don't do a lot of men's faces and I wanted to practice. Didn't come out exactly how I wanted, but I really like, again, the way these like weird lines came, that I um, outlined came out. Maybe I'll have to do like some more of these experimental things because I really like the way these come out right here. Next page, this one right here is a idea I have of a gigantic heart and I want it to be like on fire and I wrote details like fire, orange, dark blue, the contract shadows. I did this 12-8-2017. Um, this one was a very, very light sketching. You can see I didn't even finish it. But I actually do have a tiny little um, acrylic painting finished the entire, the entire piece. And this is based on this sketch right here. This is, I did these two the same day. It's October 28, 2017. It's just a mason jar with a big pumpkin and a little pumpkin with a moon in it and the blue. And the so swatches, um, I did a lighter with like i guess the smoke turning into a skull a park down the street from where i live it's very cartoony it's very quick i don't like the way it came out but what can i do i just kept going like i said just keep going it's not gonna hurt me it's a sketchbook it's for fun don't take it too serious these two i did the same day let's start with this one I did the same day. This is the, I wrote it. A Windsor Newland water palette, San Bernardino National Forest. Um, me and my boyfriend go for hikes sometimes. And this was a section that we sat next to a river and I liked the way the trees came out. It was very green. Um, again, I used the water from the lake, the, the little river that was passing us. I like when I do that because I can remember exactly the painting and was this was right next to me the river so there was a tree and some the river and a lot of rocks it didn't come out too perfect but i like it i can remember it on the next page is let's see oh my bad i didn't tell you the date i did it 9 17 2017 and like i said this schedule is out of order i don't do my paintings in order this is a dream i had not the best sketch, not even the best rough sketch. This is in color pencil. I was trying to really, really quickly get the idea down in my head. Um, I ended up doing an actual painting of this on a canvas. And it came out so much more better than this one. These two, I was getting, I, I, I think, <laughs> I was am getting better at watercoloring. It, this is just some trees and some mountains. This is using absolutely no reference. This is just me freehanding. I am very proud of myself. Not proud that I didn't do no dates, but I know it was not that long ago. But this is just like a like a sunsetty sky with some trees and mountains. Next ones are studies and um 
references of bodies. Um, this is just a body image right here. Just if like, I wanted to really study the way like the light hits in like certain angles and how deep and dark I can get it. Really, really proud of myself the way this came out. This is actually using acrylic paints on a hand I never got to and a girl just laying down with a butt. <laughs> That's it. 2-20-2018. So this is where we hit the 2018 process. Um, not, like I said, some of these are not, I'm not proud of. I don't want to show, but they're in here. There's nothing you can do about it. My practices are my practices and makes me better. So having the world on my shoulders, like I know, I know the world is not on my shoulders, but my world is on my shoulders. Like no one's going to take care of me. No one is going to do anything for me. I had to take care of myself and sometimes there's a lot of pressure on it. And I just interpreted it with this. I just, I use a gold reflectant um, paint I got and I, it's just raining you know and i use some blues with contrast of yellow i do want to redo this a couple of times to get it to where i want it and the next one i did these two on the same day i did ocean cloud and it's 2 26 2018 but the reason i did the exact same like photo is because this one i did very detailed and I like the way that came out. Like you could tell, you could see all the little stars, the detail and the like, the cloud, the reflection on the water, right? And this one, I wanted to practice with being very loose, quick, not caring about detail. It still came out pretty good. I like it. I didn't worry. I did it within, I think under five minutes I did this one. And this one I took 20 minutes, I believe. I didn't really time myself but i did try to rush myself on this one with being not so not so detailed that i like the way i learned off of myself and how to alter my styles next one is uh my three paint challenge uh it is off of the three marker challenge but i don't really use markers so i ended up with doing three paint challenge yeah um, I ended up picking randomly, closing my eyes, and I ended up choosing a coral, navy blue, and a red. Didn't have no idea what to do, but ended up coming up with this mushroom. Is these these ones right here? I have protected with tissue because they are pastels. Um, this is the first time I ever used pastels. They're totally different from anything I've ever used. Different from painting, colored pencil, marker watercolor totally different i got really messy um i learned that you can't close it and think it's okay because it will transfer unless you have a sealant and i looked up sealants and i heard some reviews from some pastel artists and i rather put a tissue and be happy with that but i end up doing a like African sunset with like some trees the shadows I really like the way this came out for my first try that's pretty cool the other side these are all pastels um, again I use tissue just to protect I ended up doing this one it's a mountain with galaxy um, sky with like a little like a little flame bonfire at the end so I really like the way this contrast you can barely t see like the mountains and like little trees because it kind of blended together but i really like the way this one came out and then the next ones ones are skies just sunset and regular day sky again just passed on me figuring out how these work how they blend um just experimenting and like and these don't have any dates because I suck. <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully that changes later with my next sketchbook. This is my, I believe the, oh no, it's not. Psych. <laughs> this is a painting, a very quick and 
not so detailed painting of BJ's dinner. We had angry archers and a almond spaghetti. This is just it. I did swatches and again the little um cup. Uh, what is it called? Colster. Yeah. And then let's see. This one is a consultation I did of the Dodger Stadium with the um city in the background. Came out like way more detailed in color. That's it. That was a long video. So that is my sketchbook tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that it's super long. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up or comment below. If you want to see another one, I am working on some other sketchbooks right now. Um, sorry for all the ums. <laughs> but... I will see you guys next time on my next video. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.